This is the first alignment. We call that play one, okay? This is something we run a lot against men and men. Uh, two, uh, five black in defense, go. This is our five men. This is our four men. And the three guards are interchangeable, okay? Okay, we can change the players. Anyway, start under the basket or a stack here. You are on a block like this, okay? Our first move is a simple stack, okay? To come off, receive the ball, and take a look inside because our big man will try to seal, to open up and front the defense, trying to receive close to the basket, okay? Because his game in low post is effective, don't, no matter of his size, I mean, he looked too small. Anyway, for us, this type of ISO can work. Both man and man or zone, pass the ball inside to Samardo Samuels for us was a good solution, okay? Next, after you pass the ball, our point are cut strong, quick to the basket to finish opposite side. Here, we have a screen. This guy move up the top. Stop. The ball is there. Okay. And here, we have a dribble end of, situ dribble end of situation. Dribble end of like this. To run. Stop to move this guy on the same spot and this guy after dribble end off run a flare screen to fade away like this. Okay, it's clear. Ball there, you are here, you go there. Here is our point guard, okay? And now we give a sort of double choice for our point guard. Running the corner, we can build one more triangle to feed our big men, and we have the power forward at the top of the key once again to punish some, you know, overplay, stuff like that, or to swing the basketball. Come off this side, okay? For example, this is one way to run. Give the ball back here. The other choice is to read the defense. For example, if the defense deny that side, run the screen here for a catch at the top of the key, pop outside, okay, and finish with the top pick and roll, or it depends on his positioning, maybe he shrink a lot, you run a flare screen, pam, for this before you set the ball screen, okay, come back here, Stay, stay, boom, shrink, shrink, shrink. No, you stay wide, shrink, run, set a flare screen, pass the ball, bam, and the two-man game to finish. We are at the end of the possession, so we have to manage maybe 10 seconds or less on a shot clock. Or, ball here, stay with your man, run straight to the top, prepare the ball screen. This is the right angle to set the screen, okay, like this, and ready, bam, after the screen, to roll at the basket, to move at the top of the key, and move like that. Then, we can talk about defensive choices on pick and roll, but it's a long story, okay? Just to show you all the move. Okay, I like to run the same play. Also, if the defense move in zone, because as I show you, go past the ball, okay, stay. For example, their choice is to stay zone. So when you cut, you drop down like this, bravo, come here. For example, this is a switching. This is a switching. You protect. And you understand, guys, that here we have some advantages immediately. If you run the corner, stop. It look like a normal overload attack in the zone. They want to match up, but you understand, at the end, it's our pointer against the big man. Give me the ball. Or it's our five man front him, go, go, open up, like this, very aggressive, bam, go, do it, like this, Yanni, come here, come here, like this, 
and maybe you play against a smaller guy. Not smaller, but for sure is more skinny. Okay? Is one example. Okay? Or go back there. Okay, stay on like this. No, no, do your stuff. Stay there. Come at the top of the key. Pam. Like this. Catch the ball. Okay. Here. They look perfect in order of the matchup. You run the ball screen to finish. Or remember the flare screen. It depends. That flare screen can provoke a gap. Okay, back here, back on top, or the ball screen can create a gap. Why? Stop. Because if they play regular man-to-man -on, -man on pick and roll, we run the same stuff. If they have a pre-switch, as we saw on the film, come back here. Come, turn indietro, turn indietro. Okay. As we saw on the film, he runs the ball screen. Pre-switch, as Pralzic did on the film, like, come, bravo. They match up like this. You can skip the ball straight there. It's a gap. Small versus big. Or give the ball here. Have a ball screen and switching. Ball screen and switching. Go. Use it. Pam is a big against the small. So we can attack a gap. Not there because he's small and small. But here is a big against the small. So our main goal is to run the same set have some topics inside. So create advantages or provoke some gaps, keep the initiative and attack on a perimeter or inside, okay? This is a simple example, okay, of my idea to have an offense that can work both man and man or zone. The other alignment, is the double elbow, double elbow alignment. So elbow, elbow, corner and corner. Stay man to man. This is our big man. So this is a simple stuff that most of the team used to run. So it's a ball screen, roll at the basket, pop at the top of the key, pass the ball. No, no, pass the ball at the top of the key. Try to seal inside to take a look if high low can work if not swing the basketball try to keep working hard in the area keep working hard here to seal prepare a white down screen away use the screen single or double it depends on your choice go there or screen away okay for a top catch, just in case you cannot pass the ball inside. Ball goes here. You prepare the screen. It's a ball screen to finish. Go. More or less is the same spacing we saw before. Okay, so big man roll. Okay. What is different? First, a habit is to have the big man on that side and the power forward here okay so that we want to push you at your favorite block favorite side to play one one run slow roll bump pop pass swing take a look inside okay first from the top of the key next after the ball swing okay if you can pass the ball when you set the screen this is a chance to read if better to come off top of the key or to punish the defense with a cut. In this case, you will be the guy or you will be the guy to cover because we want to cover the midpoint every time. One guy here, okay? Ball, if you give up, screen, come off or set a screen for him just to do something different. Come off, come off, bump, ball, stop, come here and set a pick. Go there, okay? What we used to run here is set the screen and dive to the basket. Come here. To create a different spacing. Screen and slide. This is the name of that spacing. Screen and slide. Screen cause ball screen. Slide cause we slide baseline. To punish the defense that can tend to stay and fill the area with that slide, use the screen. We can have an open catch here and attack two on one when you roll at the basket, okay? 
screen and slide. Ball here. Come here, double high. Stay zone. Zone. So if you go zone, probably the guards, hey, will match up the big men. Okay? For example, many teams, they tend to come here, come here, come here. Go deep in a corner, deep in a corner. Bam, use the ball screen in the same way. Bam, start switching. Bam, like this. So they want to destroy immediately the first play, the ball screen. Where is the gap? Take a look there. It's a small versus big, for example. This guy roll at the basket. As you saw before, maybe it's a chance to have a better advantage here. We quit, we, we give up here, the ball is top of the key, you are still working hard inside, good, we swing the ball, okay. This is the second situation where a big body have to set the screen, use it, switching, switching, and here is another ball, ball, another potential advantage. You understand what I mean? Okay, so it's a screen, come here. I go for you, go out, go out, go out. Ready, hey, you, you play defense on him. The ball is there, shrink, no, no, no. Shrink is weak side defense. Man, ready, screen, come off, switch. Bam, and this is a chance to punish the gap. Okay, another chance. Come here, come here. Try to seal, open up, open up, open up. Try to go, stop, okay. How they can react? This guy take this, he split to the corner, no matter. Good choice, the ball goes there. We don't wanna stop the flow. What is your next step? The ball goes middle, we don't wanna stop the flow. Go there, take a look, he shrink, why not? Screen, same situation we saw the, before, he stays, you run. Come here, come here, come here. Screen. They want to stay man to man? Perfect. We run our screen. They want to have a pre-switch situation. Pre-switch, pre-switch. What is your choice? Screen. Bravo. We attack the gap. Or we attack the gap inside. Okay? So you understand how, how through certain situation, more or less, we can teach the players, the team, to keep the initiative and don't lose their confidence. That is the first. They don't need to think too much. They have to go automatic, automatic. Provoke the gap, recognize the gap, attack the gap, okay? But we don't change the call. We wanna go through the flow of the offense and attack. Uh, Suspento. What is good is also that we keep the same alignment, the same way to entry on the set, to go through the set and to finish. Why to finish? Because sometimes at the end, we can have unbalanced shots and this is bad for our defensive system, okay? So no matter of their choices, have a balanced shot, it means control the tempo. We can score, we can miss, but first of all, we don't want to give them easy basket. So our big man is the solid inside players. We want to attack where he is comfortable. Here, our point guard is a good pick and roll player. We want to attack his comfort area, okay? Our perimeter guy, our effective shooter, we want to keep work on the area where they work more. Do you understand? It's very important that we don't do something, you know, unusual, like, for example, pass the ball, dive at the basket, go. For example, have a big guy out of positioning where he's in the area where he doesn't work. He cannot shoot the ball, for example. Stay inside, he's here, he cannot shoot the ball, and the defense can take away, can cut four, five seconds in a possession that at the end will work a lot, will work a lot. We wanna work, we wanna attack, 
we want to have the initiative all the possession long. We want to use all the 24 seconds. No moves that cannot work. My idea is to stay simple first. So we have the same offense, man a man or zone, no matter what they do. They understand that, guys, when we run one, when we run oars down, we believe can work both. Second, give confidence to the players. They have to play with confidence. They are in their comfort area. They are in a common, I mean, in a usual flow. And I don't want they stop playing or they start turning the head, moving to the bench. Hey, coach, what happened? What's the call? What I have to do? Forget. Play basketball. Play basketball. Attack the rim with the ball and without the ball. As I told you, keep balance in order of the way to entry on a set, to execute the set, to finish the set. Why be ready after timeout? Because many teams used to change the defense or used to show that type of defense after a timeout. So when we have a timeout and next possession is offense, we have to work a little bit in advance, help the team to predict, guys, maybe they do different. Hey, next call is one no matter if man a man or zone, next call is one. Because, you know, for example, it's a moment where some type of ISO can work, the other team decide to go zone or to do some specific stuff. We choose in advance a call that can work both, okay? And as I told you, the flow. Don't stop the ball, don't stop without the ball, keep running at the same rhythm, the same flow. Right. The topics, the principle to build a system. In few points, the dribble drive, the game without the ball, the way to set the ball screen on the side or the top to create advantages, flare or back screen on low post area, high post area, and the overload, okay? So all the moves we have on the corner or the top of the key to destroy the defensive alignment. And we start to work a little bit with the guys very fast, I need four guys with the white shirt and four guys with the black shirt. So we used to run that drill four on four, up and down. So try to imagine that you have four other people here. So we go up and down in this way. The shot clock is always 14 seconds so that we create the habit in the players to manage a stressed situation, okay? 14 seconds or less. Are you ready, guys? We play four on four, quattro contra quattro, bene. Uh, no dribble, no dribble, okay? No screens. Pronto? Via! Very good. Stop. Ball is black. Thank you. And we run the same. Go! Stop. I don't speak Polish, but I don't know. No dribble is no dribble everywhere. I don't know what, is, what you mean. Come dice in polacco, no palleggio? Come si dice? Come? Eh, Nikos, we. Vai. Ready? Via! Go! Ben. Wow. I was ready to kill you. Because the way you shoot the ball, bravo. Ready? Go, why? Hey, stop, stop. They score. The ball is white. They score. Go. Come on, come on. 
No screens, no screens. Just moving. Attack the basket. Attack the basket. Bravo, stop. Okay. So what the reason why we play without dribble? We want to create, create the top situation of stress and we want to emphasize some stuff in order of the initiative. Play with the ball. Every time you catch the ball is to attack the basket. So receive the ball in the area and the position where you can really be a threat for the defense, to shoot the ball, to pass the ball. You cannot dribble. So what you have to do better? Cut, cut, cut to the ball, to the ball. Cut, attack the basket. Nobody have to stop. No one can stop. Ready? Go. Nice, nice. Go white, go white in 14. Come on, move it, move it. Attack the basket. Rebound. Come on, come on, go black, go black. Oh, okay, stop, okay. And now it's time also to check what is their ability in a stressful situation to share the basketball, to have the pleasure to build a shot together. Most of the people, most of the player in my team doesn't like to practice in this way because they suppose this is basketball for kids. It's not basketball for men, forget. This is basketball. And the reason why it doesn't work with the men is because they don't fit with basketball. Because they supposed to stop learning basket since they are 19 or 20, forget. Pivot foot, stance, passing fakes, change direction, speed, play off the ball are the soul of basketball. People is so lazy. They don't like to practice in this way because they, they are looking for a fucking ball screen. Just a fucking ball screen to play basketball. This is not basketball. Basketball is five on five. Five on five. And when you run a ball screen, it's effective only if you play five on five. Next step, next step. We play four on four, same rule, same rule, no dribble. Now, Great. now you can set screens, okay? Ready? Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Go! Come on, come on, come on, press the ball. Bravo, good screen, stop! Black ball, no dribble. Bye. Ben, move the ball. Keep working. Smart. Rebound. Okay, go white, go white, go white, go white. Keep working, keep working. Without the ball. Nice cut. Rebound. Stop, okay. Hey. This is another, forget was the topic of the clinic. This is another good stuff. When you practice in this way, you know the new rule about 14 seconds when you rebound, okay? It's no more 24. You know that if you try to have a percentage, most of the three-point shot now are connected with offensive rebound. This drill is very good because also when you rebound, is good. Okay, first you can finish layup. Next, you have to spread the floor very quick because from that catch, most of the time, we can have open shot outside because matchup is terrible. So also against multiple defense, when at the end on rebound, you can have some gap. Go strong offensive rebound. And if you cannot dunk after the offensive rebound, kick the ball outside very fast because maybe you will have a big advantage on three-point shot, okay? 
Now, we can start from a simple side pick and roll situation. You have the ball, so you are happy. The ball screen here, the defense, and two other people. We, as I told you, we can go up and down, do the same stuff. We give this guy the chance to use the dribble. This guy have to run a ball screen. When you run the ball screen, for you, mandatory, double team on the ball, double team on the ball, trap, trap. And when you pass the ball out of the double team, from that moment, no matter where you pass the ball, we have to attack with 10 seconds or, le or less without dribble, okay? It's clear, so you start here. Dribble is free. You run the ball screen. Ready to double team. Go attack! Attack the basket! Double team! Move it! Move it! Okay. Ball here. Black team, same stuff. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Ready? Ready? Let's go! Attack the basket! Go! Double team! Move it! Wow. Not the best team to manage the pressure. Okay? You understand, guys, that the way we turn the ball over is a big signal for a coach in what we have to practice, okay? Here is in order of reading, recognizing, and guys, technique. Manage the pressure with passing fake, pivot foot, to have a vision everywhere to choose the best pass. Go, same screen, move, nice. Move it. Good. Good. Very good. Bravi. Give me the ball. We go with the black team. Same stuff. Same stuff. Same stuff. Go. Run the ball screen. I take the basket. Double team. Move it. Move it. Good try. Rebound. Nice. Okay. Just a short example. We have the chance to create the stress in practice to be prepared in a game. <laughs> Bob, white team offense, and we have the ball on a block here, okay? We have this guy here, one guy top of the key, one guy opposite side, okay? So, more or less is the same stuff. We go up and down. We have 14 seconds on the shot clock. You arrive, dribble is free. Since the ball goes low post, when the ball goes low post, our defensive choice is to double team the low post. So no matter who decides to trap the big man, we go, we have a full rotation. We play to attack the basket. When you pass the ball outside, like on a ball screen, no more dribble. Okay, ready? Go, pass the ball in, pass the ball in. Double team. Nice, nice. Ball. Same offense. Very good, very good. Go, double team. Move it. Rebound. Come on, come on, White. Come on, kick it out. Okay, same stuff. Give me the ball. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Black offense. Ready, ready. Come on, feed the post. Double team. Oh, shit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, you know what? If you want to put more energy to the pass, better you bend the legs. Bend your knees and push the ball. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, double team. Nice move. Rebound. Kick it out! Kick it out! Stretch the floor! Move it! Come on! Attack the rim! Stop! Hey, hey, hey. We play without dribble, man. Come on. Give me the ball. It's clear. So, you can enjoy to create all the situation you want. Cause the shot clock. Cause the dribble. Cause the double team. Cause the switching situation. Okay? So, we have the same ball screen side to start, okay, and we have to switch every ball screen. Every screen we switch, guys. Off the ball, on the ball, we switch, 
Okay, ready? Go, ball screen, ball screen. Switch everything. Okay, black ball, you see? Problem is not to recognize the defense, is to manage the pressure. Give me the ball, give me the ball. Handle the pressure. Ready, stay wide. Open, 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 open. Go, ball screen, come on, switch everything. Attack, attack, nice. Attack the basket, very good. Stop, okay. And now it's your job, because for example here, you can start to give some more info in order of the way to set screens, screen and seal, okay? Or the way to attack on the perimeter, or the way to create solution through the dribble drive system. Go! Switch everything. Attack. Rebound. Okay, white ball again. Give me the ball. Ready? Ready, ready, ready. Hey, stay wide. Come on, wide open, wide open. Ball screen. Okay, nice move. Nice move. Good. Okay. So, my job as a coach, as I told you, is to be creative. Just to prepare the team to handle the pressure and to emphasize how important he is keep the initiative with the ball and off the ball. Now, we have white team offense, you are with the ball. Big man, uh, one guy here is a big, is fine, okay? Another player on that spot, good. And we start with a very simple move, watch out. This guy move at the top of the key, okay? To receive the ball. When you flash high, we have a pre-switch, so when the ball goes, come here, come here, come here, we switch, so we wanna have one very short but fast guy ready to deny, to overplay, and so you switch and you are here. Our job is to have a good pass here. If you see he overplay, ready to beat him. Swing the ball fast and attack the gap. So our job is swing the basketball fast and attack the gap, okay? Come? E come detto? Largo. 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 Ah. ah, go! Move it! Attack! Stop. Okay, come back. So this is the situation. What we have to handle, guys? The advantage, come here, give me the ball. Who, you was offense, come on, you offense. You go there, okay? This is the gap, this is the advantage. Create through the dribble, in penetration and stop. This is the dribble drive system. Respect the rules. If he drives at the basket, attack, bam, you go middle to feel the paint. You go corner to give a safety here. You move as a shadow. You know what is a shadow? This is a shadow. It's a ombra. Sombra, okay? So if he drives at the basket, your job is to be safety as a sombra. Sombra move. Okay? Ready? Oh, 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 oh. Go there. Go on the block. Go on the block. Stay wide. Come si chiama? Come si chiama el niño over there? Uh, the black. Come si chiama? Si. Michael. Michael. Michael, ready? You know what you have to do? Go! Move it! Attack! Oh, Jesus Christ. Come on, come on, four on three! Wow. Stop. Okay, black offense. Hey, play easy, play simple. Ready? Ready? Go! Nice, attack! Okay, okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, keep playing. Okay. And score, bravo, black again. Ball, hey, 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 go there, go there, go there. Michael, you are with the ball. Come on, Michael. 
Ready? Go! Move it! Move it! Move it! Stop. Okay. Watch out. This is not the smartest thing. What I'm talking about. You are big, tall. It's a small guy that can deflect the basketball. Better if you pass and you dive, probably. Ready? Go! Move it! Attack! Okay. Rebound! Rebound! Okay. Okay. So, for us guys, hey, give him the ball. Give him the ball. I need a big guarding a small guy. This is a chance to refresh the team. What's the rule when we drive? As I show you, baseline, okay? Or middle, if on the ball swing, you attack the middle and they shrink the area, how we have to stretch the floor? It depends on your shooting area, your shooting ability. Maybe, go. Cut will work better than fairway. Maybe, maybe, I don't know, okay? But for example, go, if they shrink, you move in this way, you stretch the floor, you move behind the defense. So, it's a chance to refresh this. Next step, same situation. The black team received the ball here. Have a pre-switch. Okay, now, Michael, stay. You swing the ball, you understand that it's a big body against a small body, okay? So if you cannot attack immediately, my job without the ball is trying to push that guy in the area where I can use my gap, my advantage, it's fine? So we work like this, high post catch, ball swing, shot or driving fake, this guy diving at the basket. Ready? It's claro. Move it. Attack. Nice. Nice. Very good. Woo. Kick it out. Stretch the floor. Open shot. Good. Rebound. Come on. Okay. White ball. Same stuff. Same stuff. Ready? Ball. Ball. Come back. Come back. Ready? Go! Move it! Dive! Attack! 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 Stop! Okay. So, hey, their work now is excellent. You saw they recognize the advantage. They try to attack. Nobody stopped the flow of the offense, and he tried to attack the area and the perimeter. Where was the gap? Now we work on the screens, okay? So you have the same move, no pre-switch, stay. Catch the ball, swing the ball, and now run a ball screen. When we set the ball screen, we have a switching in defense, okay? So we create an advantage here, two gaps. One gap on the perimeter, big versus small. One gap inside, big versus small. Okay, small versus big, big versus small. It's clear. Weak side action, stretch the floor as you prefer. Okay, go. Catch, move, screen. Nice. Nice. Great job. Bravi, bravi. White team offense. Excellent, excellent. With the ball and without the ball. Go! High post, catch, swing. Talking defense. Nice. Open. Rebound. Good. Hey, you see, guys, defense is great. Is excellent. They're trying to do stuff. They was preparing a switch in three people. Nice. But what's the key? They don't stop playing. Open shot. Nice move. Is a similar situation. You run high, catch the ball, swing it, stop. You slide ball side and you screen away. So you run baseline trying to receive. You screen wide, you switch, okay? So when you switch on the same way, try to seal, okay? And keep the advantage here. 
For you, the advantage is to catch, attack a big guy, and you work to receive the ball. Why? Because if we pass the ball here, you know, from here, pass the ball there or inside is much better and much easier. You know? Ready? Go! Swing, slide, receive it. Come on, come on, attack the switch. Stop. Uh, he's the coach. He's the coach. Uh, okay. Go, black. Black offense. Same stuff. Come on, come on. We want to run with short passes. Short passes. Nice, nice. Attack. Stop, 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 stop. Not very smart. The ball is here. Yeah. Let the ref call three seconds. Let the ref call three seconds. But play here. This is the, the advantage to catch and finish. Okay? You can't move out where you are not in a comfort area. You are playing against a small guy. Stay here. Stay here. You're scared about three seconds violation? Move opposite side. Don't be back on top of the key. White offense. Go. Other side. Same stuff. Go there. Go. Swing it. Screw away! Come here! Nice! Nice! Finish strong! Good job! Oh, Jesus Christ! Ah, wow! Come on, big! Ready? Black offense! Black offense! Come on! Slide! Screen! Beat him! Nice! Nice! Good move! Good! Bravo! Okay, you saw we force the defense also to have some unpredictable stuff, like a double team to manage the gap. Great, we already prepared the team to share the basketball versus double team, to manage the shot clock and to play under pressure. Ready? Stop. No, no, no. You there. You move up. Go! Slide! Skin away! Switch. Go switch. Nice. Nice. Okay, stop. Come back here. Look, it's a simple suggestion. How you say suggestion in Spanish? Bo, come here. How you say suggestion in Spanish? Consiglio. Consiglio. Como se dice consiglio? Suggestion. Consejo. Eh, consejo. Screen. Switch. 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 You was there? Okay, switch. Okay. You agree with me? This is advantage. If you run in this way, you receive the ball here. That is different than pass the ball. Every time you enter in the area, remember, this is a stupid stuff from a stupid coach from Italy. Better you don't run, better you slide, because you have advantage. Run since you put two feet in the area. When you arrive here, start sliding. You know how they can move you from here? Only with fouls. If you run, give me a little push. Bravo. Ah, capisci inglese, eh? <laughs> Vai? Pu no, no, no. A little push is more than this. I know you... <laughs> I'm 50 years old, I know. Go! Look, look, look. It's a small push. You cut in front of him, stop and slide. Stop. Bam. He has to foul. Ready? Hey, do you remember we wanna we have to screen away? Hey, hey, do you remember? Ball swing and screen away. White ball. White ball. Do, do you know? Catch, swing and screen away. Go! Slide. Go. Pass. Boom. Stop. No, no. Screen away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Ball swing. Go. Screen. Switch. Attack. Nice cut. Bravo. Bravo. Don't worry. Don't worry. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. This is another good step. Bravo. Okay. Man. Now. We have the same move, catch from Michael and swing the ball to him. No, no, step. You receive from Michael, use the light, 
you swing and you screen away. No switch. No switch, guys. No switch. Stay with him. Ball to Michael. Okay. Now it's time to work on this situation. Ball goes back to Michael. We want to finish on the top of the key. Which way? Preparing the ball screen or a flare screen? Okay. What I want to have, guys, is that you handle the switching. Switching just in case flare screen. Switching just in case ball screen. Bravo. It's a, we call that a pre-switch. Okay, pre-switch. Okay. Ball. It's clear. Michael, ready? Hey, now it's tough, huh? Go! Come on! Move it! Screen away! Bravo, Michael! Screen! Stop! Do you remember what is the pre-switch? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Give the ball to him. Michael, cut corner. Okay, goes, goes. Come on, come on, come on, go! And I take him. Okay? This is a pre-switch. Oh, everywhere. Also, everywhere. Ready? Uh, cut. Hablamos. Come on, go! Swing, screen! Yeah, yeah! Come on, come on! Ecola, and take the gap! Ja, bravo! Black ball, good job, good job, White. Give me one good offense. Who score, White? Black offense, come on, come on. Come on, come on, give me a good offense. Jesus, come on, Michael, go at the basket. Hey, but if you see, if you see your teammate drive at the basket, what is the best? Move against him or off him? Bam, behind. So he can finish, he can pass, or you can rebound. Ready, go, White, go, White. All the way, all the way, all the way. No, no, no. Slide, slide, slide. Come on, come off. Screen, screen. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, black offense. Come on, he's the same move. Same move, black offense. Hey, you here, Michael, go opposite. Ready, go. Go all the way, be patient. Go, screen, stop here. Okay, use it, use it, use it. Nice, nice. Bravo. Very good, very good, bravo. Very good. Black offense. Uh-oh. Give me the ball. Let's go. Let's go. Where is the defense? Move it. Screen away. Nice move. Oh, nice move. Bravo. What's the name of the Polish guy? Bardek. Bravo, Bardek. Match up. Go. Move it. Screen away. Use it. Keep work. Kick it out. Oh, come on. White offense. White offense. Give me one with the white. Go. Bravo. Attack. Stop. Bravo. Good rebound. You see? They don't waste the time to watch what they're doing. They stay man to man, they use picker. Nice job. They want to have pre-switch, they attack the basket. Nice job. This is the best. So this is a simple example of the idea to work on that topic. Trying to be back. Some suggestion in order of the dribble drive system when you attack a gap respect the spacing dribble drive system respect the spacing next emphasize the game without the ball okay third one ball screen situation against the double team against the switching on the side on the top be prepared to attack with the ball, the guy that handled the basketball, off the ball, the guy that set the screen, the guys from the away, off the ball, that can create the right spacing and the right triangle. The same screens, not only on the ball. Flare screen, 
on elbow area, top of the key, or corner. It depends on your choice. You choose one of your set. Remember, in my opinion, this is the way to work to become effective boat. So this is a small and simple message in order of what I mean about multiple defense and what habits I would like to create in my team to help players to play with the right confidence because at the end they are the main people on the floor no matter of the coaches no matter of the referees no matter of the fans players are the key part of the game and they have to keep the initiative and our job is to give them the instruments to be effective on the floor thank you